Hi everyone, it's Sharmila here from Can Do Teach and today's video is going to be the first in a new topic called quadratics. So quadratics is one of the biggest topics that you'll learn in high school maths, but it's not immediately obvious why it's so important and why we spend so much time learning it. So before we get into the details of quadratics, I just want to show you why we learn quadratics and how it fits into the bigger picture of maths. So quadratics are really our first introduction to functions that are more complicated than straight lines. So you're probably familiar with linear equations. And these are equations of the form y equals mx plus c that when we graph are simply straight lines. So there isn't much to linear equations. The only features the graphs really have are a slope, an x-intercept, and a y-intercept. That's about it. So in general, there are a lot more function. Uh, there are a lot more features of functions that we care about. So quadratic equations are equations that have the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So this part of the equation is quite similar to the linear equation, but we have this extra term called the x squared term. And when we graph these, they have the shape of a parabola. So you can remember the name parabola because it has this ball in it and it's kind of a ball shape. So parabolas have a lot more of the complex features of other functions. So they still have the x and y intercept, but they also have this point where the graph turns around. And for a parabola, that's called a vertex. Okay. They also have, can have more than one x-intercept. They might also have just one x-intercept or no x-intercepts at all. So these are all features of more complex functions that we can capture with quadratic equations. But while they're a useful introduction to other functions, quadratics are also really useful in their own right. It's so probably the most familiar example is if I look at a flying object. So if I throw a ball from my left hand to my right hand, then I'll see it fly through the air like this. Now this shape is actually exactly a parabola. So if I plotted it on a graph, I'd be able to describe it with a quadratic equation. And then I'd be able to use that quadratic equation to find information about how the object flew through the air. So I could solve problems about that real life situation using quadratic equations. So that's really the main point of why we do quadratics is to solve problems. And these problems can be a lot more complex than problems solved by, problems described by linear equations. Okay, but to solve them, we need a way of visualizing them. And that's what we use graphs for. But to graph the quadratic equations, we need to be able to manipulate the equations because the form that I've just showed you is not that easy to graph directly. We need to change it around into different forms so that we know what the graph looks like. So finally, to manipulate the equations, we need a bunch of algebraic skills. And this is what we spend most of our time doing when we're learning quadratics, is learning the algebra. So over the next several videos, when we're doing the algebra, you might feel a little lost and wonder why do we need all this stuff. Just remember that we do all the algebra only so that we can manipulate the equations, so that we can graph the quadratics, so that we can use those graphs to solve interesting problems. So that's all I wanted to cover in this quick introduction. Um, hopefully that gives you a better idea of why we're going to be doing quadratics. And in the next video, we'll get stuck into it. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Otherwise, you can always find me at canduteach.com. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.